I recognize the council have made a decision, but given that it's a stupid ass decision and I have elected to make a rant video about it. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a rant one because the other day Marvel brought out a new comic book and Nick Spencer has revamped Captain America and apparently his idea of revamping Captain America has involved making him Hydra. Yeah. Turns out Captain America has been with Hydra this entire time. Firstly, no, you do not do that. Why? Why would you do that? Normally in RAND videos, I try and look at both sides and look at the good and bad things for both arguments, but in this case, there is no reason that makes Hydra Cap acceptable. They did it for shock value to get money. That's it but that still doesn't make it okay. You could say that hopefully if they only did it for shock value, like a lot of plot twists they've had before, it won't last that long and there'll be an acceptable reason for it, like maybe Cap was mind controlled or brainwashed into doing it. Except we know this is not the case. In an interview people did with Nick Spencer after the comic book was released, he said this. I've seen a lot of people say things like, oh, it'll be wrapped up in the arc or give it six months. And I can tell you that that's not the case. This has real lasting repercussions that are gonna be with us for a while. To make things worse, he also said this in the interview. That is Steve Rogers. He's not a clone. He's not an imposter. He's not mind controlled. No one else is acting through him. This is really Steve Rogers, Captain America himself. No. No. No, 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 no. There are so many reasons why Hydra Cap is wrong. Like, so many reasons. The main issue with Hydra Cap is the fact that Captain America was originally created by two Jewish men during World War II to bring hope and faith to people and to fight off Nazis. Hydra is an organisation meant to represent the Nazi party and it's also headed by the Red Skull who, surprise, is a Nazi. So to then take that living legend who has lived up to the legend for 75 years, inspiring young children and bringing hope to fans, and to then turn him into a villain to make him part of the organisation he's fought up until now and to basically say he's a Nazi. That's just disgusting and disrespectful to Jack Kirby and Joe Simon, Cap's creators. Why would you do it? No one would do that! Why? Surely that should be enough for you to know that Hydra Cap is not okay. But, of course, according to Nick Spencer, it isn't enough. See, the day the comic came out, we got hashtag say no to Hydra Cap trending number two worldwide on Twitter, and people are even still tweeting the hashtag now. But of course, Nick Spencer just ignored the hashtag completely. He ignored all the hate and instead focused on the few people actually saying good things about it. And as a result, he put out these tweets, which I'm not going to say anything more on because otherwise this rant video is literally going to be like two hours long, but Nick Spencer, no. Even if the issues I mentioned aren't enough to convince Spencer that Hydra Cap is not okay, surely the fact that Chris Evans, the real Captain America himself, disagrees with the idea should definitely be enough. So yeah, that it's a thing and <laughs> it's not even okay. Like, I was raging so much on Twitter and I don't know what upset me more, Nick Spencer's tweets about it or other people who were indirecting Marvel fans saying that they were overreacting. We were not overreacting, okay? It may seem like it, because I won't lie, I did cry. I cried so much when I found out about Hydro Cap. I was crying all evening, okay? That does sound like overreacting, but you don't know what it means to us. You cannot say we're overreacting. Because for me, Marvel has been the franchise who have kept me sane for the past few years. So for them to then take my favorite character who inspires me and it has helped me so much ever since I discovered Marvel, to then take that character and turn around and say he's a bad guy and he's a Nazi, you don't do that. Honestly, it, you know, it like, I don't even know what to say. I was honestly speechless when it happened and I'd never 
felt that much anger and I'd never been that upset over something before because Captain America means something to us fans so you don't go and turn him into a Nazi and to people saying Hydra aren't Nazis not directly yeah because in the comics there it doesn't take place during World War II but they're supposed to represent the Nazis that's why they were made and they're leader, Red Skull, is canon Nazi in the comics, so there is a link there, and even then, Hydra are a terrorist group. You do not take Captain America, a hero who little children look up to and big children look up to and basically all us fans, he's one of, if not the, most popular heroes, and you're just gonna turn around and say, oh look, he's a Nazi, he's a bad guy now. <laughs> You don't do that! <laughs> and rant over. Okay. It's all good. I mean, it, not, not really, but at least they aren't going to apply the changes to the films. At least they better not. Hydra Cat would make even less sense in the films than it does in the comics. Okay, they... Yeah, they better not apply it to the film. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this vid, guys. Comment down below what you think about Hydra Cap. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are your thoughts? You got any other arguments that I hadn't mentioned, like the fact that Captain America can lift Mjolnir in the comics and I'm pretty certain a Hydra agent wouldn't be worthy enough to do that? Yeah. So comment down below any arguments you have as well, if you like it, if you don't, and yeah, uh, click here to subscribe, click here to check out my last video, and I'll see you guys all next week with another one. Bye!